Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toys Capace channel in Malaysia. Last week at SDCC 2024, Mattel made a huge announcement that shook all of fandom to the core. During one of their panel presentations, they flashed a simple image of one of the most iconic symbols in pop culture history, the roaring symbol of the Thundercats, set against a foreboding sky and a promise that something major was coming in 2025. And that would be the ultimate crossover of two of the biggest toy and cartoon franchises of the 1980s, Masters of the Universe and Thundercats. Mattel has had some great recent experience in toy franchise crossovers with their ongoing Turtles of Grayskull series of action figures, which features the cast of TMNT in Eternia fighting alongside He-Man and friends. However, it looks like the series may be winding down though in the months to come to make way for the coming of He-Man and Lionel. This merger is a dream come true for fans like us who grew up in the 1980s watching these heroes battle their mystical foes on distant planets. But this is not the first time their universes have collided. Back in 2016, DC Comics launched the He-Man and Thundercats crossover miniseries, a highly recommended comic book series that featured both a gripping storyline and solid fantasy artwork that would make any long-term fan of both properties proud to own in their collections. With the planned crossover with Origins, fans can now look forward to finally own action figure representations of the Thundercats. In particular, their team leader Lionel in the same 5.5 inch scale as the Masters of the Universe figures. Now this was also attempted some years back when Funko launched their Savage World line of Thundercats toys which were of the same action figure design style of the 1980s Masters figures and were meant to stand side by side with He-Man and Gang on your toy shelves. The figures were well made, but I think that the distribution was mainly relegated to hobby stores and commercial toy fans did not come across these at regular department stores and many did not even know they were being made. But all that is about to change now that Mattel will be pushing their massive marketing might behind this mega crossover and this would be something that fans can hopefully see turning up at their favorite toy stores and especially in countries that still have a Toys R Us. Having the Thundercats being produced on the Origins figure bodies means that they will now have so much more articulation compared to their vintage 80s versions and also have the ability to have their parts taken apart and swapped around for endless mix and match possibilities. And let's not forget that the villains of both universes will also be colliding. And we are talking about these two malicious monsters, Mumra and Skeletor. It's going to be especially exciting to see Mumra now with a fully articulated origin style body, but not just any body. He's going to have to be extra big. And we've seen some great examples of that with the masters of the WWE Andre the Giant figure, a fantastic large-scale figure contender for a brand new action figure body for Mamra. Guys, this is a particularly exciting time to be a fan. Let me know what you guys think of the incoming Masters of the Universe and Thundercats toy crossover. Hit me up in the comments section and I'll catch you guys again real soon with more content right here. Thank you and take care out there.